the dreams are there and it's all going pretty serious now. You give Tim a lead, okay? The horses are in good shape and just started to get a few winners on the board. She's just so on it now. I think Ben Curtis can ride the majority alongside William Buick. William's going to have a squeeze through the dip and see where we are, okay? We've had plenty of other jockeys coming in. Hayley Turner's been in plenty and Callum Shepherd and William's going to go on the right. Okay, we'll go two and two like that. And then they're going to split into four and work through the dip. We had 87 winners in Europe last year and, and we'll try and better that. So I think, you know, we had a group three winner. I'd, I'd love to have a group two winner, whether it be two-year-olds or three-year-olds or horses we bought from, from the horse and training sales. And um, we've got a long way to go, but we'll give it a good rattle. Cache. She's in great shape. William Buett will ride. He came and sat on her the other morning and she looks super. She's a filly who improved massively from the breeze up and, you know, in her coat she came and, and improved sort of through the summer and obviously peaked at the Breeders' Cup. And, and she's a filly that, as much as she's ready to go, she will improve. You know, she, she worked 10 days ago and I've just sort of freshened her up into it. And you know, she's obviously got very good course form. And I think if she was 100% for the Nell Gwyn and you know, obviously her target is the Guineas, it's then quite a quick backup. And, and I think leaving a bit in the tank for her to, to progress is probably the, you know, it's definitely the way that we've gone anyway. She's got form on, you know, very soft ground and, and also on firm ground in Del Mar. It's going to be close to quick ground at the Craven. There's no more rain. It looks like we've got a pretty dry patch coming forward and her work's been good on quick ground up there and, and also with a bit of ease. So, as you say, very versatile. Mr. Allen, he's, he's ready to go. He nearly went to Doncaster, but his work at, at Newmarket's been, it's been probably his, his better work and he handles the dip very well. And, you know, Amma Racing are very keen to have runners at the Craven meeting and I'm sure they'll have a nice two-year-old and, and he's a nice three-year-old for them to go to war with. He, he was a very raw horse and he's, he's from a quite a stout pedigree and you know I possibly shouldn't have run him again at the back end of last year and he got very warm before the race and was free to post and, and Sheikh Issa was you know keen to let me do what we wanted and, and, and we've done the, the ultimate gear change and, and he seems to have relaxed a lot more for it. He's, he's a gelding now and he's going to go to Beverly next week and I think he's running over eight and a half furlongs. It'll be very much the bottom end of his stamina potential. Ben Curtis will ride. He's been into riding him a lot, and and he's a he's a fun horse for the year. And I think as he steps up and trip, but I just want to get him to relax. But um, he's a lovely big stamp of a horse, and, and one to have a lot of fun with. I think. Obviously, he was a star last year, and, and it's he was in the horse and training sale, and Ed Babington, his owner, who's a big supporter of the yard and huge racing enthusiast, took him out of the sale and, and took him home for the winter, and. I think has fallen deeply in love with him and, and so is everyone in the yard and he's by Mason. He'll want to get his toe in and, and he will run. He'll come up here for the handicap on, I think it's Wednesday and he started life in 0 55s. He's now running in 0 100 so he's he's turned inside out and there's a big handicap in him somewhere in the year, whether it's the ground might be a little bit lively for him next week, but um, yeah, he's in super shape. Charles Street goes to Wolverhampton next week. He's um, another one on the long list of winter geldings. He's a brother to three or four very decent horses bred by the Gredleys and I think you know he's a horse who when he gets onto turf he'll probably find another leg I think but he goes to Wolverhampton which might be a bit sharp for him under a penalty but yeah Ben Curtis goes to ride and, and he's, he's been training good. He goes to Lingfield for the Constellation race, the 0-85. He's actually been gelded since he last ran and he's been very slow away from the gate and I think he was concentrating on other things at the time. He won over five furlongs on New Year's Day and I think we'll probably see the best of him when he, he's stepping back up to six and, and, and arguably when he gets to seven through, through the summer. Totally Charming was a good winner on his stable debut and it didn't quite work for him at Southall. He got too far back off a slowly run race and he then was drawn very wide at Lingfield and rattled home late under Ryan Moore and didn't quite get there and I've given him a break with the Constellation Day at Lingfield in mind and I also put him in, in a race on, on, on Guineas Day called Suffolk Stakes. It's an open handicap, nine furlongs where if he doesn't get to Lingfield, he'll go there and, and he's been training good. Mystic Wells goes to Windsor on Monday, uh, 10 furlong Phillies handicap. And, you know, she's been leading a lot of Cachet's work and her pedigree suggested that she was going to get better at three and she was a hot filly after the breeze ups and it was great to make her a winner at two. If her owners are going to breed from her and she's one who's relaxed. And, you know, she's taken a lot of work on her stride and um, she goes there with a good chance. Chloe Jink will most likely, she's entered at Windsor, but she'll most likely go to Newmarket for the Craven meeting. She's a filly who's, who's worked through the dip a couple of times, and it's the first time she's been ridden by a jockey, and, and William was happy with her. So, look, it's obviously they'll all be unraced, and it'll be a real test for her, but she's, she's sharp away from the gate, and nice to have another filly who we hold in high regard by Galileo Gold, anyway. Jockeys coming in, having been riding elsewhere, and are happy with how they are, so all ready to go now.